Allison, it's Carrie, your nurse again. So we're going to be doing um, what we did before. I'm going to be asking you a couple questions um, to test how clearly you're thinking. You seem to be awake and alert. Um, can you squeeze my hand for me? Okay, let go. And show me two fingers on that hand. Okay, great. Looks like we're able to proceed. So I'm going to be saying some letters. And every time I say the letter A, I want you to go ahead and squeeze my hand, okay? Do you understand? S. A, V, E, H, A, A, R, T. Great. Good job, Allison. So for my patient's CAM ICU score this time, feature one, acute onset or fluctuating course, she still was fluctuating between a RAS negative three and zero, so this would still be positive. However, on feature two, she was able to perform save a heart with no errors. This would be negative. She was not inattentive for feature two. Because she's negative for feature two, we do not have to proceed, and she's overall CAM negative. So now what we're going to do um, is Dr. Rounds. Um, we really want the family to be an active participant in the daily rounds. Um, we're going to be talking about the plan for today. If you have any questions, feel free um, towards the end to um, ask any questions. And if it takes more time, we can set up a family conference. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Doucette. Good morning, Carrie. How's Allison doing today? No, she's been doing really great. What's her RAS score? So her current RAS score is a zero. Um, What's our target? The target was negative three. Her sedation's been off now for a couple hours. She was on propofol at 40 and Presidex at 0.3. Um, so she seems to be doing great with her spontaneous awakening trial. Okay. Well, how was the CAM ICU today? So her CAM ICU was actually positive a couple hours ago, but uh, just reassessed and it's now negative. Okay. And sedation now, what's she on? She's completely off sedation. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I think our plan for today is to, is to get her mobilized. So I think it's important that we get Allison up out of bed. Okay. Even though she's still on the ventilator, we'll be careful about her tube and how it's secured. But it's important for patients as they're uh, in the ICU to be mobile. If they're, she's in bed too long, she's going to have more problems. So, right. And even though she's on the ventilator, it is possible to get her mobilized uh, while we're trying to wean her off of them later. Okay. Hi, Carrie. Do you need any help uh, turning her and assessing her skin? Oh, excuse me. That's I'm just okay. going to get where you are. Yeah, actually, um, Allison, we're going to go ahead and turn you now. Sarah, it's very important that we turn her every two hours. She is at risk for skin breakdown, so this is part of what we do okay. to make sure that her skin doesn't break down since she's in mobile, laying in bed. Okay. You ready okay, to help me yes, turn? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and turn her towards me, Allison. We're going to turn you onto I'm your right turn side, you okay? On your right side. Good, Good job. Gonna take and she's going to take a look at your, your body. Skin here. Oh, goodness. It looks like you're in some pain. Okay, no, her okay. skin looks good. Let me just okay. put this to prop her up. Oh, okay, Allison, okay. we're going to put you right back. Okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and assess her nonverbal pain score right now. It looks like she was in quite a bit of pain. So for face, she was she was grimacing quite a bit. She was pretty restless and um, withdrawal of reflexes. She was pretty stiff, and her heart rate went up to a hundred. Her respiratory rate increased to thirty. So I'm going to give her a pain score. Of pain score of 9, which is severe pain. I'm going to go ahead and give you some pain medicine, Allison. Allison, we're going to get you out of bed and take you for a walk, okay? We have plenty of people here. We have a couple nurses, respiratory therapists. So physical therapy has already seen you and um, said it's okay to go get out of bed, so we're going to follow the protocol, and we can safely and effectively walk you with the, physical, or with the respiratory therapist and the nurses. We have the non-skid footwear on. We have you hooked to the um, portable monitor. It's big and clunky. I wish we had a smaller one. And we have the portable vent right here ready to go. 
Hey Allison, you met me before. I'm Kim from Respiratory. I'm going to take a little bit and I want to secure your tube to make sure when we do sand you up that it's secure and you don't lose your tube. We don't want to take it out before it's ready. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape here. I'm just going to put a little extra piece of tape around the tube. Okay, so you'll see me kind of pulling on some things. I apologize. There we go. All right, so now I want to get the transport ventilator and we're going to get this, it's all turned on, ready to go. So I'm going to ask you just to go ahead and okay. take that off and we're going to make this switch. I take that, go ahead and turn that toggle there. Now you're on the transport monitor or the ventilator here. And I'm just going to secure this to your shirt and that's going to help you to not have this tube move too much, okay? How's that feel? Okay, so if anybody else is ready, it's up to you and I'm right here for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and check a blood pressure first. And while that's going, Megan, do you mind um, watching the lines for me? She has a swan and an A-line in. Okay. And Peggy, would you mind grabbing the I'll monitor? I'll grab the monitor. Okay. Great. Can I help in any way? Um, I think we're good if by. you just want to stand okay. by and maybe okay. be here for support. That'd be okay. great. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I, it looks like her blood pressure is great. So I think it's safe, to go, it's safe to go ahead and get her up. So let's, let's take your blanket off. Okay. So Allison, what the physical therapist had taught you before is we want you to go ahead and slowly move your legs to the side. Bring this arm over and watch this, okay? We want you to grab the side of the rail right there. Okay, great job. Good job. And while you're sitting here, do you feel dizzy? We're gonna go ahead and check your blood pressure again. A lot of times when patients are in bed for a long time and they get up for the first time, they tend to be kind of dizzy and their blood pressure drops, so we just wanna make sure it's safe to proceed. Okay, blood pressure looks great, no changes. Ready to stand up? Okay, everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Stand up nice and tall. Look straight ahead. Do you feel dizzy? Okay, you're nice and strong. Let's go ahead and try to take a couple steps. Let's check a blood pressure again. Just check the difference and make sure there hasn't been a drop. Blood pressure looks great. Let's take a couple steps. You're doing great. You look great. Yeah. Awesome. So good to see you. Oh. Right. Great job. What you've just seen is a video that briefly demonstrates the best evidence-based practice for spontaneous awakening trial, STEER protocol, CAM assessment, early mobilization, patient and family-centered care. This is a big transition that the entire critical care team is taking on together. Thank you for watching.